and to discuss prophylactic or preventative surgeries to make sure that I'm reducing, reducing my risk so I can be here for my kids. Mm -hmm. So as I've been moving through these thoughts and these doctor's appointments, uh, it became crucial to talk to my kids because even if I wanted to pretend that they didn't know something was going on, I knew they knew something was going on mm -hmm. in the house, in my larger extended family. They could sense these things and it was naive to think that I could gloss over it. So we sat down and we started talking about why is mommy going to the doctor all the time? Mommy's healthy, but mommy likes to go and check with her doctor all the time to make sure that she stays healthy and that's absolutely critical in this house and they know that. Mm -hmm. Why does mommy make a point? to go work out and be at the gym and make it uh, like a value that I instate for myself and for my children mm -hmm. because it's crucial that we do these things and we, we make them habits um, mm -hmm. because it's part of our family history that this is something that you, you gotta do to make sure that you're healthy. Um, so as we walk through those conversations, I want to keep it light and easy. So we do draw pictures. We sat and we just drew all these pictures over and over again and I'd say to them, well, what's something you get from your mom? And my little girl has all these freckles and she drew a picture and show her freckles. And then my other little daughter, you know, she would say, oh, I have these big blue eyes. So we started to like mesh the two of my, my twin girls into one to come up with this image that's on the cover of this, mm -hmm. this girl with the blonde hair, the blue eyes and the freckles. And she really is modeled after my two girls. And they'll kind of point to, to the girl on the cover and say, well, that's mine and that's hers. And, you know, so it's special to me, but, uh, we, we worked on it together. We had all these images in front of us and I started to look at them and think, wow, it'd be really cool if we made this into a story. Cause they were at this age where they love books and they love reading and they'll sit down and they'll have their undivided attention. You know, when they sit and they want to read to me at this age, so I was like, it'd be really cool to offer this to other families. So we started writing this like poem that became the book. I'd bounce it off of them and we'd work through it kind of every day for a while. It took a long time. Mm -hmm. And then once it kind of came together, I thought this is actually, this could be something. It could be a really valuable resource. Mm -hmm. So I started reaching out to um, uh, Cure and talking about it with them and seeing if they could help me get the book together in a real way. Mm -hmm. And we enlisted a uh, illustrator to help polish all of the sketches that my daughters and I created and make them you know, professional and look uh, very beautiful with all the, the colors and implement this idea that my girls came up of like a search and find game in the book where you could like find DNA strands all over throughout the book. So he very carefully went through and kind of integrated these these images into the pictures so the kids can play this game and keep them interested longer. Uh, so it was just like a, something that we really took our time with. It was a labor of love, the whole family, and creating mom's genes. Mm 